Hi. In the previous videos, I showed you how to make a very simple thermoacoustic engine. And because we use rice inside the engine, I named it the rice engine. It consists of a piece of aluminum can, some steel wool on top of it. And after that, we have rice. Then we have a diaphragm made of balloon and a weight on top of it. So if we heat the engine and we give it a motion, then basically it starts to oscillate. Now the engine works perfectly and uh, I put the link of the previous videos in the description so you can watch them and you see how to make it and how to operate it. But there are some problems with the long-term performance of this engine, which today I'm going to discuss it and propose some solution. So the first thing is that we use rice inside the engine. With rice, the engine works really nicely. However, there are some issues with it. The first thing is that because we inject water in the engine, after a while of operation, the rice will get softened and eventually the rice will stick together and blocks the passage of the air. So what you have to do is to open the diaphragm and basically remove the rice and replace it with a new rice. And when you open the diaphragm, you're likely to break the diaphragm. So basically this is not a really good solution for long-term performance. Every time we have to change the rice. So the question is, can we replace the rice with something else? So the other issue with the rice is that if you leave it for a long time, let's say the rice get wet and then you leave this engine somewhere for a long time, then the mold will form and uh, the rice goes bad. So this is also another bad thing. So for example, here I have an engine, which I made it several years ago. And if I open it, you can see that inside it, the rice has already really bad shape. Okay, so what I did is that I tried to replace rice with other uh, things that were around me. So first, I tried pasta. I used big pasta and also smaller pasta, but the engine did not work. If you don't use anything, the engine will not work. If you use pasta, the engine will not work. I then changed it with a smaller grain, this one. I don't know what is this, but I just bought it several years ago and I didn't use it, so I decided to use it in the engine. With the tiny grain of this, uh, the, the engine did not work. So then I bought some wheat. With wheat, actually the engine worked. Uh, it's the performance is comparable to the rice. And this one is actually a bit better because the wheat, um, they do not get too much, let's say, wet and they do not get sticky when they are wet. So the engine works for a longer time if you use wheat. But eventually the wheat also will get softened and it sticks together. So this is also not the perfect solution. I also use the skin of orange. Even with this, the engine works, but the performance is very bad. So the rice is the best, the wheat is the second, and this one was the third. But none of these materials are actually good solution because all of them will go bad if you use them uh, for a while. So I decided to think about other materials, something that is more robust, it doesn't burn, and uh, basically it's not a food material so that it can stay forever. Because I want to improve the long-term performance of the engine. So I thought about two materials. One is a small piece of rocks, which I could not find. But then I also thought about glass, because glass is really good. So I bought this type of glass beads. And then I use a lot of them and like I pour them here. And then I use this type of glass beads in the engine instead of rice. And with this, actually the engine also works. The performance is uh, acceptable, it's very good. Uh, it's not as good as rice, but it's, it's reasonably good. Uh, but, I, but this one will never burn and also it will never get, uh, let's say, mold or other things. So this is a very good material. So this is one improvement that we can do. We replace the rice with this type of glass beads. These are two three millimeters. I think if we use a bit larger glass beads or rocks, it will perform better. So maybe three to four to five millimeters. Because when I use large pasta, it didn't work. And the, the rice performed the best. The, the wheat, which are a bit larger, performed the second, so I think the size of wheat or between the wheat and rice is the optimum. So if you use glass or ro rocks, then we should select those sizes. 
So this is the first improvement. I'm going to later on turn on an engine with those and then show you the performance. The second part is that, let me remove this rice. I use this engine only for few times of operation. And what you notice is that if I remove this um, steel wool, you notice that the bottom part of the steel wool, maybe I should, yeah, this part of the steel wool, actually it rusts already. It has, it's oxidized and uh, because um, we inject water on the lower part and when it vaporizes, it touches the steel wool and it actually oxidizes it and eventually will destroy it. So if you use it multiple times, it, it's going to go completely bad. You can see what's inside. Oh, maybe it's not easy to see. So instead of using the steel wool directly, actually I came up with a better solution and that is to use one of these stainless steel wool. This one, they are more resistant toward uh, oxidation and rust. So first you're going to put an aluminum piece and then this one and then a fine steel wool. So this is what I show you here. So here is the aluminum piece. This engine, I have used it many times, maybe a hundred times. And of course, this stainless steel wool, um, this one also goes rusty, but it stays like this. It does not uh, become powder. Um, so you can use one of these first because this is directly in contact with vapor. And on top of that, I use a steel wool. So even though I use this one for many, many times, like maybe between 80, 100 times, but still is not rusted. So this one, then we ensure that the lower part of the engine is staying good all, all the time. Of course, instead of this, we could use copper wool or brass wool or bronze wool. That one is better, but I don't have it right now. I only have one, which is for my soldering station, so I don't want to destroy it before I buy a new one. And then maybe I can try that. So in that case, instead of this stainless steel wool, we can use a copper wool and uh, that probably performs better. It does not oxidize easily. Okay, so I have the aluminum, the stainless steel wool, and then fine wool, uh, steel wool. And on top of that, I'm going to pour these glass beads. And then I will turn on the engine and show you the performance. This one I bought it from in Netherlands from a shop named Action for four euro. So it's not very expensive. Okay, so now I have this one ready. And on top of it, I'm going to put this one. So instead of putting the diaphragm directly on this, I decided to make another piece and put the diaphragm on here. So that um, when I want to open the engine, I don't need to open the diaphragm because in that case, every time I have to make a new diaphragm. But in this case, I can operate it maybe tens of time before the diaphragm break. So this is another improvement. And then I have to use the piece of tape so that this one is very tight and there is no leakage from there. So you can see that the performance is acceptable and with these glass beads actually we can operate this for a very long time. Uh, so the improvement is very great. Also you'll notice that by controlling the amount of water that I inject I can control the severity of this oscillation.
Alright, so that's all for this video. See you next time. Bye.